Christmas, the biggest Christian holiday celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, also called the Nativity. Over time, the holiday became a worldwide religious and secular celebration, incorporating many Christian and non-Christian traditions. At Christmas, families gather around the table and then exchange gifts. This is the most wonderful time of the year for young and old. The most celebrated holiday in the world, Christmas is the result of hundreds of years of secular and religious traditions from around the world. In this video, we will look at how people from different parts of the world celebrate Christmas. Italy Rich in Catholic traditions, in Italy Christmas is the biggest family holiday. Besides the Christmas tree, the center of the decoration is the nativity scene. Already in 1223, St. Francis of Assisi used the nativity scene to tell the Christmas story. It is believed that the previous year he visited Bethlehem, the place where Jesus was born. According to sources, the first scene of the nativity dates back even earlier to 1025 in Naples, in the church of Santa Maria del Porto. In fact, the city of Naples is famous for its nativity scenes, where artisans continue to construct some of the most ornate ones. Initially, these were only in churches and monasteries, but in the 16th century, the tradition became popular among families, who put the scenes in their homes as well. Naples is home to the largest nativity scene in the world, featuring over 600 items. In 1982, Pope John Paul II started the tradition of placing the Christmas tree next to the nativity scene in St. Peter in the Vatican. It has 17 life-sized figures. It is a tradition among Italians that Christmas celebrations begin as early as December 8th, which is considered the day of the Immaculate Conception, and continue until January 6th, Epiphany. According to an old custom, children sing solemn carols at the Christmas concert in the church. The period of nine days before Christmas is called the Novena, and commemorates the journey of the wise men to the baby Jesus. Traditionally, for Catholics, Christmas Eve is the most important day of Christmas, a day of fasting. For their table, they prepare fish dishes. This tradition is known as the Feast of the Seven Fishes and symbolizes the seven days of creation or the seven holy sacraments of the Catholic Church. And they are baptism, confirmation, holy communion, confession, marriage, holy orders, and anointing. On December 25th, Italians prepare a hearty lunch with roasted meats, pasta, vegetables, and the traditional Christmas cake, panettone. According to Italian tradition, Jesus, not Santa Claus, brings Christmas presents. Another important day that marks the end of the Christmas holidays is Epiphany, January 6. Then they think that the good witch Befana is coming to fill the good children's stockings with candy and the bad ones with coal. Asia in China, as in other Asian countries, a very small percentage of the population is Christian. For this reason, there are no deeply established Christmas traditions. However, in the big cities, there are Christmas decorations and a tree, and Santa Claus is called the Old Christmas Man. A tradition that is becoming popular on Christmas Eve in China is the giving of apples. The Chinese associate Christmas Eve with a peaceful or quiet evening, and the apple symbolizes peace and kindness. In India, Roman Catholic Christians are required to attend Mass on Christmas Eve. Instead of traditional Christmas trees, however, banana or mango trees are decorated in India. Russia During the Soviet Union, Christmas celebrations and the Christmas tree were banned because of their religious nature. Instead, a New Year is made into an important holiday, and the tree is called a New Year's tree. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, people were free to celebrate Christmas. Still, New Year's Day remains the biggest holiday for Russians. Then comes Santa Claus, who brings presents, and his granddaughter Snow Maiden is always by his side. For its religious holidays, the Russian Orthodox Church uses the Julian calendar, so Christmas is usually celebrated on January 7th. The official Christmas and New Year holidays run from December 31 to January 10. The traditional table consists of 12 dishes, symbolizing the Twelve Disciples of Jesus. America Christmas traditions in America combine many customs originating from countries as diverse as Italy, Germany, France, Holland, and Mexico. Christians go to church to celebrate the birth of Christ. In 1659, there is a law issued according to which the only thing allowed on December 25th is going to church. Nowadays, American families spend a lot of time and attention on Christmas decorations. 
The houses are decorated with lights inside and out, and in the yards. And they put statues of Santa Claus, snowmen, deer, and other Christmas characters. German immigrants first used Christmas trees in Pennsylvania. The first mass sales of Christmas trees were registered in New York in 1851. Canada Like America, as a large country, Canada brings together different cultures whose traditions are influenced by France, England, Ireland, Germany, and Norway. As in America, here as well children believe in Santa Claus, who brings them presents on Christmas Eve. In Toronto, a Santa Claus parade is organized every year, which dates back to 1913. One of the Canadian traditions is to send the biggest and nicest fir tree to Boston, USA as a thank you for the help given in the Halifax explosion. In the province of Newfoundland, in the days between December 26 and January 6, there are traditionally cookers who go around to homes dressed in cooker costumes. Similarly, in Nova Scotia, people go around the houses but dressed in funny Santa costumes. Bulgaria According to the Gregorian calendar, which is used by the Bulgarian Orthodox Church, Bulgarians celebrate Christmas on December 25. Traditionally, December 20 is Ignizden. According to legend, whoever enters the house first, alike will be the coming year in their home. This day is also called Palasvein. According to folk customs, December 20 is also considered the beginning of the new year. December 24, Christmas Eve, is the next most important date that gathers the whole family around the table and the decorated Christmas tree. An important custom of this day is the badnik itself, an oak or pear tree, which the man cuts down and brings into the home. It should be used to keep the fire burning in the hearth throughout the night. Traditionally, fasting is done on this day. There must be an odd number of dishes on the festive table, seven, nine, or 11, some of which are bread with a coin, beans, lean tinsels, and doshav. The oldest person in the house breaks and distributes the bread. Bulgarians believe that whoever is lucky enough to have the coin in his piece of bread will have a prosperous year for. After midnight, carolers, usually young men, go from house to house singing carol songs to ward off evil spirits and bless families. On December 25th, Bulgarians celebrate the Nativity of Christ. According to beliefs, Mary's labor pains began on Assumption Day and she gave birth to Jesus on December 24th, but the birth was announced only on December 25th. An interesting custom on Christmas Day in Bulgarian villages is the slaughter of a pig. This ritual has the character of a sacrifice to God, and its roots can be traced back to pagan times. To this day, it is another occasion for the whole family to get together. Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands Christmas traditions are similar in Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands. An important part of the celebrations is the Christmas tree, as it was first used in the early Middle Ages. Traditionally, the Christmas tree is brought into the house on Christmas Eve, when families sit around it, read the Bible, and sing carols. The Germans make traditional decorations by cutting paper and making Christmas bells and even nativity scenes. One of the most famous German decorations are those made of blown glass. On Christmas Day, groups of four children go from house to house singing carols and collecting money for charity. Three of the children are dressed as the wise men and one wears a star, a symbol of the Star of Bethlehem. Traditionally, on the day of St. Nicholas on December 6, children are waiting for their gifts. St. Nicola is accompanied by Krampus, a horned monster that scares naughty children. The tradition of Advent wreaths originated in Germany. Advent is actually the period from the beginning of December until Christmas. German Lutherans have used the wreaths they make since the 16th century to mark the days leading up to Christmas. Usually, the wreath consists of pine cones, berries, dried flowers, and there are four candles on it. Most households put them outside their doors in early December and light one candle each Sunday before Christmas. The celebrations in the Netherlands start on the 5th, on the eve of St. Nicholas. The Dutch believe that this is when Sinterklaas brings them presents and puts candies in their stockings. Sinterklaas is a legendary figure based on St. Nicholas, the patron saint of children. Traditionally, the festivities begin as early as mid-November, when he arrives by steamer from Spain. The great celebrations on the occasion of Nicholas Day originated in the Middle Ages. The holiday was celebrated wildly like a carnival. Originally, the idea of the festivities was to help the poor by putting money in their shoes. In the 16th and 17th centuries, Protestant reformers banned the celebration of St. Nicholas, replacing it with the Christ child.
the gift-giving date has also been changed from December 6th to Christmas Eve. The modern image of Sinterklaas can be seen in an illustrated children's book, St. Nicholas and His Servant, written by Jan Schinkman in 1850. There he is depicted carrying gifts to the children and riding a horse on the roofs of the houses. In his book, Schinkman writes that Sinterklaas traveled to the Netherlands from Spain by steamship, perhaps inspired by the nature of St. Nicholas as the patron saint of sailors. Nowadays in the Netherlands, both St. Nicholas Day on December 6th and Christmas Day on December 25th are celebrated with a church service and a family meal. Many Austrian Christmas traditions are close to those in Germany. The festivities begin in the afternoon around 4 o'clock on Christmas Eve with the lighting of the Christmas tree. People gather around the tree and sing Christmas carols. Like other Catholic countries, Christmas Eve is a day of fasting in Austria. Their main dish is fried carp. Here too, during the Advent period, many families traditionally make wreaths with four candles, each to mark the days until Christmas. December 4 is an important day in Austria. It is called Barbara Tag and is dedicated to St. Barbara. Early in the morning, a family member cuts a branch from a cherry tree to place in a vase in their home. It is considered a sign of good luck and health in the coming year if the branch blooms by Christmas Eve. The Feast of St. Nicholas and his sidekick Krampus are also popular here. On the eve of December 6, the so-called Krampus parades begin when people dressed as him go around the city. Moreover, on St. Nicholas Day, St. Nicholas goes through the homes to leave candies for the obedient children. In Catholic countries, it is believed that it is not Santa Claus who brings the presents on Christmas Eve, but the Christ Child. Great Britain As in most places in the world, here too, the Christmas tree is an important element in any home at Christmas time. The holiday was first introduced by Prince Albert, husband of Queen Victoria. As a German, he wished to contribute to the celebration by bringing the element of their Christmas tradition. It is important for the English to take down the Christmas decorations by January 5. Otherwise, bad luck awaits them throughout the year. British families often attend comedy shows during the Christmas holidays. Every year, millions of English people wait for the Queen's or King's traditional Christmas speech. The Queen's grandfather, King George V, first addressed the nation on the radio in 1932. In addition, in 1957, Queen Elizabeth II delivered her first Christmas speech. Australia In Australia, Christmas is celebrated at the height of the summer heat when temperatures often reach 40 degrees. That does not stop Australians from decorating their homes and yards. Australian children believe in Santa Claus, but due to the extreme heat, it is quite normal for him to appear in short shorts on the beach. In addition, other Christmas traditions are no different from those of other countries. Families gather on Christmas Eve for a festive meal, stay up all night, light candles and torches in their yards, and gather in choirs to sing carols. Sweden the Swedes start preparing for Christmas as early as December 13, when the Eastern Orthodox and Catholic churches celebrate the Feast of St. Lucia. The legend is told by monks who first brought Christianity to Sweden. St. Lucia was a young Christian girl who was martyred in 304 because of her faith. According to legend, she brought food to the persecuted Christians in Rome who were hiding in the catacombs beneath the city. On her head, she wore a garland of candles with which she lighted her way while both her hands were occupied with the food. The name Lucia means light. According to the Julian calendar, December 13 is the day of the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year, which is celebrated by a pagan festival of light. Today, on St. Lucia's Day, traditionally the youngest girl in the house dresses in a long white dress with a red sash and puts a wreath of candles on her head. At Christmas, Swedes gather around the table and go to church. An interesting decoration in Sweden is a goat made of straw which is believed to guard the house in the Christmas tree. Traditionally, Swedes associate the goat with a midwinter festival. They believe that it is an invisible spirit that watches over and sees to it that all the preparations go well. The end of the Christmas holidays in Sweden is on January 13, 20 days after Christmas. Finland In Finland, Santa Claus is called Julupuki, which literally means Christmas goat. Finns believe that Santa Claus lives in the northern part of Finland, called Lapland, north of the Arctic Circle. It is where people from all over the world send their Christmas letters. The origins of Santa Claus can be traced back to a figure known as Old Nick, who brought presents to children. This tradition is believed to come from an old pagan custom 
where people left food for spirits who visited them during Christmas. Christmas traditions in Finland are built around the modern image of Santa Claus, and the way they celebrate is the one we all know as the most common Christmas today. The three holy days for Finns are Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and the day after Christmas. The Christmas tree is decorated on Christmas Eve. It is this day that is the most important. At this time of the year in Finland, it gets dark as early as 3 p.m., which they use to visit cemeteries and their buried family members. The candles placed around the graves illuminate the whole cemetery. In addition, here one of the most common decorations is the straw goat. It is placed in the town square before Christmas, and every night until December 24, the straw figure is lit. This symbolizes the departure of Old Nick and the arrival of Santa Claus. The Christmas holidays are quite something, aren't they? So familiar, yet a bit different all around the globe. Share in the comments an interesting thing that you do on Christmas in your country. Share this video with your friends and wish them happy holidays. Support us by subscribing to the channel.